Hello, 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 and good morning, my crafty peeps. Welcome back to another edition of A Share Saturday. My name is Paulette Tape, and I am here with... <laughs> All right, anyway. So, yep, this is April's um, Sierra Saturday. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video for this month. Make sure you check down below and go check out all the other lovely ladies and um, see what they share with you today. So, of course, if you've been with us for the last, you know, year, uh, well, not year, but uh, last couple of months, we are doing a Sierra Saturday, which is going to be the second Saturday of every month. So, like I say, this is April. And so, um, let me get right into it because this might be a tad bit longer video. I'll see as I go through this. Maybe I'll, you know, stop it and come back and show you the, you know, the end result. Anyway, so, um, this year, once again, I have, and I'm sorry, I'm shaking this thing. I have, I'm doing the, um, what I'm doing, adopt a senior, you know, um, I did this last year, uh, cause you know, the seniors, they're not going to prom and a lot of other stuff like that. So, uh. You know, you got a little group, you adopt a senior, and you make and send them stuff. So my, um, I think the girl last year, name was Haley, too, I'm not sure. So the girl I got this year is, I'm um, Haley, and um, so I want to make her a card. I got some other, um, I've already gave her some stuff already, of course. And uh, so I want to make her a card, but, you know, I want to do it a little bit different. So let me show you my first thought, uh, what I first made. Let me get it back here. Was this 2021 card. Now, um, so this paper, let me show you this right here. I mean, just in case. I had just got this from um, Hobby Lobby because they what they got the paper fifty percent off or something like that, and so this is the paper studio. So I got this graduation paper and then this other red type paper because um, I wanted to order some cards and stuff. And so this what this is my original one, but once I make, I'm, let me get in here because I got this you know zoomed in or whatever. So this is the one that uh, my first prototype I guess you can, that I made. And then once I started thinking about it, I'm like, oh, well, I made it even more personalized and about to do her name, Haley, right? And so that is what I'm going to be doing, doing sharing how I um, figure out how to do Haley. I ain't going to say figure it out because I've already did 21. That's why I did it beforehand. So I would, um, I want, like I said, this video wouldn't be as long, okay? All right, so let's go, let's go, let's go. So um, you see all these on the side. So first... What I did was, um, I went to my uh, internet here, and on here I have this. Um, I'm sure if y'all already know about it, what's it called? Word mark, um, where you know you can see all the fonts on your um, computer. So if I was to go up here and type her name in, DJY, I actually want it in all caps, mm -mm -mm -mm. right? And so then I uh put her name in here and this shows me all the fonts and how it, you know, how it's going to look when I do whatever I do. I have quite a few fonts here and I'm sorry if I'm making y'all dizzy by scrolling that, but I just want to show you, you know what I'm saying, how it shows. Now I've already went through, because like I said, I did this earlier and I, you know, wrote down some fonts and stuff that I, that I liked. And so I already, you know, picked which one I wanted to use. So if I go back to my silhouette. It is, it was the Droke or something like that. So, you know, go over here to my, you know, I just... So then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to type in her name. No caps. Like so. Let's do it in black so we can all see what's going on here. Uh, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Of course, I went over to the A where I can do my text over here. Typed in her name. Went up here. I think I talked to you in some other videos. Changed the color. And I like to change the line color to that. And since I know which one, I mean, of course, you can always go through here and do like this. But uh, I like doing it the other way because I can do a visual. And like I said, I know which one I want. So I'm going to do Drill UK. And select it. And this is the one I want. Was this one right here. All right, so let's make it a little bigger. And that's how, yeah, that's how it's going to be. So, the card. Now, I know cards are four and a quarter by five and a half. You know what I'm saying? You get the piece of paper, you fold it in half, whatever the case may be, right? So, let me, matter of fact, let me get rid of some of these. We don't need them. All right. So, this was my card base that I originally started out with, so I'll know. This right here, uh, I just did a, uh, I welded it. So you don't really care about that. You're like, just show us how to do it, right? <laughs> Let me just get some of this other stuff out of the way. Really quick. And this right here is where I tried to do an offset. You know what I'm saying? If I want to do a piece of paper in there. And I might do it for Haley where I, you know, 
let's just get to it because <laughs> i'm thinking as i go here so first of all what i want to do now that i have this on here i'm going to change the color so that i can see so i'm gonna do that right there and then i'm gonna go over here and i am going to do an offset which is the um little star and um i'm gonna do an offset and it, you know, I just take the one that they do, which is the uh, 0 0.125. So I'm going to hit apply. And I'm going to turn that black so we can see it. And so then that we have that. So then, like I say, that bottom half of my card, I needed to be. So I'm going to go over here and make a box, get a, grab a box. Like so. This box, I need to be the width 5.5. .5. And then the height, I want to be the 4.25 because that is what, you know, the particular size I'm working on, right? So that's it. So I want Haley. I'm putting them together. Let me center them. I didn't want to do that. Get out of there. Of course, the, my stuff don't work right when you're trying to show somebody something. So let me move this. And I need to actually go back some more. And like I told y'all before, I could actually use this little thing and go back. Here we go. Back further. So I'm just going to group that. Okay. Now it's grouped. So I'm going to come back with this. I'll bring this to the front. I'll downsize it. And then put it on this card how I want it to be. So as far as the size. So I wanted to go from side to side, from end to end. So probably about the five and a half, right? Give or take. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing here. Mm. I'm gonna make this a different color so we can see. Uh, right there. Cause of course all this is gonna be gone, right? Let me put this on here so I can get the sizing right there. And then this is right here. So this is like it might be two and a quarter as far as the size, right? Yeah, two and a half. And that's because some for some reason I guess something down here at the bottom that is also uh clicking on. But if I look at my letter here, you know, to here, I'm looking at these two, one, two, and then maybe a quarter as far as right there. I know it's not two and a half. She's got some extra something there. Not sure what. Okay. So that's how I want it to sit on there, right? So then I'm going to have to do some measurements. And that's what I'm doing with this. Y'all could probably do it in your head. I like to write stuff down. So like I said, I know that is as far as the height is four and a quarter, right? So then this right here, I said was maybe two and a quarter. So what did that leave me? Oops, not a... So that leaves me two inches, right? So this right here, I'm gonna make into, so the height, originally I wanted that, but now I'm gonna put it at two. It might be an easier way to do this y'all, but I'm just going on how I can figure it out. <laughs> and then I want that to sit on there like that, right? And to test this, I'm gonna go back out. I'm gonna grab this card I have over here. And um, you know, I just made this eight and a half by, uh, what was it, 11, something. Click on the palette, you can see five and a half by eight and a half. <laughs> and I want to sit that because uh let's zoom back in. I got you know where it's gonna score it right there. So if I put this up here, because it's like you know the front of the car, boom, right there. And then Haley, I just wanted to sit in there a little bit like that, but then it's not long enough, so I'm gonna grab this, do a little longer, bring Haley down. Because on this one, you can see I did have um, a lot more room, but I actually want this more flush or more down here just to give you more space because I want to maybe put congratulations or something up here. You know what I'm saying? Class of 2000. No, on this one, I could put class of, and I could put 20, um, you know, the 2021. But I want it more, you know, towards the bottom, so I want my whole pretty much four and a quarter. So I'm going to look at this. I mean, it's a little bit more. I'm going to just bring that down right there. Like so. So this will make a little wider. Just to get more of those letters on there. All right. Maybe I can make this Haley just a tad bit bigger. So it is the focal point of the card. All right. Let's move it up a little bit. Just I don't want it right on the edge. Okay. 
And so that's what I have, right? So if I back it up, it's pretty much how I want my card to look. You know, I got my back in here. I got my fold right here. I want, you know, I'm saying this little part up here. Of course, we're going to have a lot more. And then her name right here, right? So I'm going to take this out here. That's what I want my card to look like. So on Haley, I'm going to separate the groups because I just want the offset. Her name, I'm actually going to, you know, cut up by itself. So I'm going to put that there. This right here, I'm going to highlight this because, you know, it's all broken up. Okay, so now that's one piece. All right, that and that. And so then what I'm going to do is weld them together. So now I got one whole piece right here, right? So I'm going to cut all that out in white. And if I put this... Um, I don't know what that's doing. If this thing cut off, I'm going to be so ticked off. Anyway. And so this is what I have right here, right? That part right there. So then what I did was I just created another box. Like I said, y'all, there might be an easier way to do this. And this box, I want to be the same five and a um, half across. And I want it to be the four and a quarter. Because this is going to be the backside of the um, of the card. I don't know what I'm saying, box. The card. So I'm going to stick this up here. Okay. Bring it in so I can see. And on this one, I actually do want to see the uh, line color because I want to see when it disappears so I'll know that I'm pretty good with it. Right there, looks like it's about right. Let me take this back off of there because I want to put them two together. Scroll up here. All right, so that looks about right. Let me put this up here just to make sure. Let me put that in the back just to make sure they're pretty even. And so that's how it's going to look when it um you know when I got it folded. So I'm going to put this back down here, right there. And let me see. I want to be able to see the red line go down, go down, go down, go down. Go down. Cuz I really want to only do it one time. These colors just ain't working for me. <laughs> it's like every color I come with, it don't work. Okay, so now I can see the red line on there. And I want it right there. So then I'm going to take that one and this one, and I'm going to do the same thing. Weld it together. So there I have it. All right? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't touching, so I'm going to put it back. Go down another one. Okay, so now maybe. Okay, so now I have that right. So then I'm going to have to guesstimate. Well, this should be five and a half across and eight and four. And a, what's this? 8.42. So then I need to get my line to be the creases. So I just went over here to my line, hold down my shift key, make a line because I want it to be straight. Okay. I'm going to turn it red. Let's see what's going on here. I'm going to, I wanted the width of it to be 5.50. Like so. And bring it over here. So I could click it, click that, and click this. And if I was to put it, center it, it's going to center it right there. It's saying that's the center of these two particular items, right? So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to click on it right here, if I could. And I'm going to come over here to this line, and I'm going to style. I'm going to make it into a dotted line, so it'll be a cut line. Well, not a cut line, but a, um, like a score line. And there you have it. So I'm going to click this, hold down my shift, click this. Right, if I can get it, then click this, group them together. So there's pretty much the base of my card, right? So now I'm just gonna print this out. And boom, print this. And move this to the back so we can see. And then print this out in whatever paper I wanna print it out, right? And uh, let me back it up. And you know, then just like I did this, cut this piece of paper out, put it on there, and I could do something else on there, right? That's what I want to do. But I know I was thinking of something earlier. I wanted to two, I guess, two tone it. <laughs> I know that's a word, but so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this 
Now this right here, this part I didn't do, so I'm gonna try to figure this out. So I'm gonna get rid of all this other stuff. This is just me trying to show you what I was doing. And matter of fact, <laughs> y'all, I'm so tripping, I'm tripping. Let me just get this, get this. Let's copy it, go to another one, paste it, and work from here. Uh, because I still wanna do something with that 21, so I don't wanna delete it. Okay, so here we go. So I wanna take this, I want to ungroup it. And all this good stuff. All right. Did I ungroup it? Okay. Can take that out of there. I really don't want it um welded. Uh so let's see, can I that ain't gonna work. Damn, I should have kept the uh should have made a copy of it because I want to do the offset. But like on this one, before I welded and did our other stuff i um made a copy of it so which i didn't do on this one so i guess i could go back on this one y'all since i got it copied over now let's go let me go here uh let's see because this i'm going to this um you know we can go to the history let me see before i weld it and i've done a lot of stuff over here so i probably gotta go back quite a bit and see if i can see Right here, we say well, two shapes. So it should go all the way back to that. So I already copied it onto the other one. So let's see here. There we go. So now if I get this, then I'm going to copy this. And paste it. Paste it. Didn't want to do that. Okay. So now, see, I want, and I want to do an offset, right? So I'm going to get rid of this one. So here is the bottom half of uh, this. So I'm going to go back over. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to go back over to my um, my um, offset, right? But this one I want to do it in, in because that's how I actually want to do an internal. But then I have to make that smaller. Let me do this. Just show you all how it would have worked. If everything would have went according to plan. So I did internal. So it's going to do the inside of this, right? So if I was to put it here, it would be the inside. You know what I'm saying? So I could have did, uh, like I said. So if I want to do the internal, I could have did that. And then made it this per um, color. So I could have printed the white and then did the internal, this right here. And then this right here, I could have cut out in the... Um, in this graduation paper i'm gonna go back and do that but uh i would i'm gonna have to pretty much do the whole thing over i'm guessing because see it's not going to for one thing gonna line up because now it's a different uh you know so now i don't know if i could try to make this smaller and just stick them in there but it ain't gonna work fortunately but this is pretty much what i wanted to do so I wanted to have the three layers, right? But I'm not going to be able to do it on here. But that's, in a nutshell, that's how the card is going to end up looking. I'm going to come back and you'll see pictures of it. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much how <laughs> you would make an individual or personalized card that I know of. Like I say, go out there on YouTube. You can probably find tons of other ways to do it. But the way my brain works, you know what I'm saying? I talk my way through it. I'm like, this is what I want to do. It's probably, like I say, probably a hundred other ways to do it. But what I want to do... That's what I came up with. So actually, I'm about to actually, you know, do it again because uh, I want to do it the way I see it right there. I want to have this in the back, all of it, you know, so I have the white, then this red, and then I want this sitting on top of that. And then we'll put something else up there. Okay. So if you have any questions, let me know down below. Don't forget to go check out the other ladies. Like I said, uh, I'm about to go and um, do this all over again so I can get it the way I want it. And then um, you'll see the pictures. I'll, I'll post pictures here on it um, after the video. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by for the Share Saturday. And hopefully I'll see you next month. Next month for the Share, um, Share Saturday, but also for any other videos that I might be doing. <laughs> okay then, thanks for watching, bye. All right, I'm just here for the quick reveal for the uh, the cards that I made for, for Share Saturday. So this is how they um, turned out. I just did a... Um, I have this stamp set right here. It's like, I don't know who it's from. What does this say? 
our prom Hampton Arts. I'm not sure, probably got it's in a D stash or something. And it's just a um, put that right there, like a prom graduation type uh, set. I had this for a while, so I just used that class of in there. Uh, for this, I did use these um, dice, and I was gonna use these because they were smaller, but I went with the bigger ones. I think that was it. Okay, so I did the class of, then I did the 2021, and then of course her name right there. It is, and then I, I cut out this little congratulations, and I was gonna put it on the front, but I put it in there. That's what I'm gonna write my note at. So I did finish that up, and this had turned out. I didn't do the whole thing because I just didn't feel like figuring it out. And so, uh, as far as with that red that I was talking about um, in my video, so I just did the Haley as an offset and put that in the middle of that one. And then on that 2021, I just put that class of on there to finish this one off. And so, there's the cards. <laughs>